What up, y'all? kind of out for a walk. It's a really shitty day out. As you can see, it's all overcast and fucking raining and shit. Fucking windy. I'm wearing fucking shorts and t-shirt. But yeah, fuck. I'm trying to think what's been going on. Uh, I went out and got some deep shit in the last two weeks. Crib change. Trying to get all the necessities from when the kid gets here. Because uh, fuck, it's only what, two more months away or so. And that's if it don't come early, you know? Fuck, so. Yeah, so right now I'm just gonna chillaxing and fucking taking in whatever part of the day there is. Fuck, look at it. It's all overcast and it's been raining for like two fucking days straight, which is bullshit because it never does that. <sighs> but yeah. Um, probably going to be a short vlog. I'm going to just start keeping up the vlogs. I'm going to try to post one up again tomorrow. Uh, but pretty much, yeah. I've recorded things throughout the week, uh, or the last two weeks, so I'll bits and piece them in there, even though it probably won't make sense to you guys, but I'll try my best to make it make fucking sense. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, right now I'm just going to walk back up to the truck that's way up there and uh, probably go home and do some cleaning because I've been slacking on that for like two weeks. My girlfriend's getting pissed. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, so I'm trying to make left of what this vlog is. Right now it's what, October 7th, Friday, so I haven't posted a vlog since like last week of September, so there'll be some footage. It'll be a pretty long one, but for today it'll be kind of short. So smash them all in together so talk to you guys in a bit so as you can see here here's the dresser I got for the baby's room it's not not too bad a shape I guess you know pretty decent I'll show you the crib my room's a fucking disaster I'm doing laundry so fuck off here's the crib Nice like espresso color, which is dope. Just what I wanted. Nice color. Uh, we don't know the sex of the baby yet. So, because the little fucker wouldn't open the legs. If it's a girl, that's a bonus. And then it means, hey. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's like espresso color. It's pretty fucking nice, though. And now, show you the change table that we got. This is going to be the baby's room. As you see, we have some old ratty ass couches in here and an old bed. Fucking grimy. I still gotta paint the walls and shit. But here's the change table. Same espresso color. Uh, this is a whole bunch of hand-me-down shit that we're all getting and whatnot. I don't fucking know if I'll even use it. But you know, I'm already stocking up on baby wipes and diapers. And that's a smart thing because Fucking if you stock up on it now, when it comes, you're not spending an arm and a leg to stock up on it then. Slowly stock up on it now. So if you're having kids, do that. And you know, these Huggies, newborns, I think it was like 29 or 30 bucks for like however fucking many you get. These little, these little bastards, let's see how many you get in a box. You get 84 of them in a box. And then you know, you get like something like 720 individual wipes. I'm probably going to buy another boxes of these and another box of wipes and then maybe another box of size ones because you know fuck you don't know how fast kid will grow and if you do have to buy more newborns well at least you'll have the box of size ones laying around which they're going to fucking use anyway. So which is pretty good. But I got to change all this ratty ass shit. Got to paint the fucking walls. I don't know what I'm going to go with. Maybe a light green and yellow like green here and then like light yellow bands around the tops and the bottom but I gotta clear all this fucking junkery out of here first so I gotta get my buddy to help me take this down to the dump you know we'll use my uh, the truck 
but we need to get all this fucking junk out of here. Um, you know, and you know how fucking people go, oh, look, guys who wear, look, wear diaper bags look homeless? I found this one, and it's actually called Mums and Dads, and it's not too gay looking if I were to wear it, though, you know what I mean? It's not too, too bad. Like, it's pretty gay, but, you know, it's your kids, right? So I guess you have to fucking carry it, but at least it's not fucking pink and covered in flowers. It's blue with fucking flowers. Like, fuck me. Well, my girlfriend got this one thinking, you know, we might use it, but I'm still ch trying to look for a fucking black one, pure black. And then I'll be fucking golden. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for baby. Oh, I got the baby swing, too, and this one's some fucking dope. Cost me like 150 bucks. It's a Fisher Price uh, thingamabobber. Bam! This is it right here. You know, it goes side to side like that. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. And then you can stop it, twist it, and then bam. What? Bam. And it comes with like all these different speeds and settings. It was 150 bucks, but it was on sale for a hundo. So like, giddy the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that's about all it for now. Um, I'll pretty much, I'm gonna show what's been going on the last few weeks um, with the bits and pieces of vlogs I got. I'm gonna try to remember what day I filmed the one and put it on the video so you guys are not completely fucking lost. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I gotta go get my girlfriend's haircut and stuff. I probably won't film much for the rest of, ugh, hiccups for the rest of the day, but uh, I'll definitely get on top of those vlogs again tomorrow. So yeah, so enjoy whatever footage I got. Homo. <laughs> Queer bet. What up, y'all? It's uh, six. It's uh, six thirty-four now. I'm already running late. Uh, fucking frost on my window. Yeah. Guess it's officially here, guys. Motor is officially on its way. Fucking frost on my fucking windshield. Fuck me. <sighs> but yeah. So I'm gonna pull you to work starting 6:35. So talk to you guys when I can. So yeah, it's uh, 10 to 10. Uh, just on break. I don't know if you guys can hear me. The fucking wind is deadly today. I'm trying to block the fucking camera. But yeah, I'm just on Facebook and checking emails and shit like that. <sighs> what have I been up to today? Uh, well, I got to work and uh, I got here on time, even though I left late, which is good. Um, we just been jackhammering a brick set of quenches. And I'm going to be relaying it with new brick today, tomorrow, and probably till Friday. And then after that, I don't know what we're going to be doing, maybe putting them back together, fuck who knows. I go hour by hour here, you never fucking know what's going to happen. So yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know, other than that, it's been a pretty non-eventful day. From what I can tell you, uh, nothing too big has happened. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Nothing too eventful right now, and uh, I guess I'll uh, shoot some more shit probably at lunch or whenever. All right, talk to you guys then. Hey, what up there, guys? Um, so I didn't get the vlog up last night. Uh, fell asleep early again. Um, so now it's uh, 6.30 in the morning. It's uh, Thursday, so I'm on my way to work right now. Uh, so I guess it's gonna be another two-day vlogger, uh, just like the last one. Um, which isn't too bad, you know? I, I, don't, I don't mind the two-day vloggers. It's not like they're super long, like uh, the last one I posted was only like 10, 11 minutes. So it was pretty good. Um, yeah, so... Um, 
today is just going to go to work. Um, I don't know what I plan after work. That's one thing you'll know about me. I really don't really have plans. I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Right now I'm just on my way to work. Yeah, uh, fucking slack, slack, slack day at work today. Doing absolutely nothing. Pretty much just killing time is really what we're doing today. It's fucking hard. We're not just killing away the day. Uh, as long as they pay me, I don't give a fuck what I do. So, pretty much that's about the dealio. Look at this guy. Look at this pure later guy. He's sitting there at the front gate which brings you into the factory okay he's going the wrong way this parking lot right here to the office is where you need to go what a dumbass just kind of killing away the day now so yeah um probably talk to you guys when i'm off work it's time it, it, it's uh 12 now well three, four minutes too, but whatever, so, talk to you guys then, so, what up, everybody, so, what up, y'all, um, so, I haven't posted up the vlog in, like, three days, and, yes, I'm aware of this, um, just haven't had nothing really to talk about, and haven't really had time to even post up whatever little vlog there is, so, my last vlog was a two-dayer. I think this one will be a three-dayer. Um, so I think that's what, what, what the plan is. So, uh, yeah, it is uh, 20 after 6, uh, Friday. Today should be a half day. And uh, that means I'll get off early. And, yeah, so I'm on my way to work. So uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So yeah, I just went into Max. Uh, fucking what a gong show that is. Holy fuck. People are dumb as shit, man. But yeah, I think I'm running late for work now. It's gotta be at least 6.30, so I gotta start boogieing it now. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, fucking going to the store in the morning. Fucking bunch of re-re's, I tell ya. Guy. I'd argue with the guy because it says a deal two Diet Cokes or two Coke products for three dollars. He rings it up at like five something. I said, yo, bitch, what the fuck is this? And he's like, oh, well, that's the price. I was like, dude, you're, you're advertising a totally different price, you fucking douchebag. Fuck, I'm to sit there and argue with them for five minutes to save for like three dollars. So whatever, fuck them. But yeah, it's uh, 635 and I gotta go, so peace. So yeah, uh, I'm at work now. No, I'm just pulling in. Looks like they got the stack burning. Uh, it's a big stack that uh, burns off all the uh, carbon monoxide or hydrogen and all that, all that fun stuff. <laughs> big fireball. And when people ask, hey, where do I work? You're like, you know that place up in Briar Park that has the fireball? That's how you explain to where I work, so. Yeah, well, it's 6.47. I had to be here two minutes ago, so I gotta go get changed and my work clothes. Okay, peace. What's up, y'all? Uh, the time now is, can't see it, 1 o'clock. Um, I'm off work now. Um, it was a pretty short day. Um, but, uh, yeah, boring, really nothing to do at work. We just kind of stand around and tried to look busy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what my day consists of today. I know, fucking awesome, eh? But now I'm going to let Mick Dix and order some food. Hi, fucking right. Please try one of our skinny lunches. No, I don't want to. Can I get food? Uh, can I get uh, two McDoubles with extra pickles and onions? 
and a large Diet Coke. Extra pickle and onion? Yeah. That's everything? And a large Diet Coke. Yep. That's, that's everything? Yep. 5-11 is closer to the These people are fucking dumb. But yeah, literally I'm broke and then we're gonna have to... My girlfriend, <laughs> her, her paychecks are gonna have to buy the groceries and everything. Fuck, I hate being in debt. Um, this weekend, I don't know they got anything planned. I think I'm gonna clean the house. Uh, dishes have been piling up over the last two days, so that's kind of gross. So someone needs to scrub them, and we know my girlfriend ain't gonna do it because you know I'm pregnant and I work. Well, I work too, so fuck off. <laughs> but I guess I'll do them. You know she is pregnant, so I guess I won't be that much of a dick. So yeah, that's pretty much the plan. So. Um, Talk to you guys uh, in a bit. The time is... Hold on, fucking stupid truck buzzing bullshit. Time right now is five after four. And I gotta go pick up the girlfriend from work. So I pretty much went inside and finishing the shampooing of the carpets and shit like that. Uh, nothing really huge. Um, still got nothing planned for tonight. I'm just kind of cleaning, so yeah, maybe I'll film that in a bit. Uh, but right now I gotta go pick up the girlfriend from work, so talk to you in a bit. So, there you go. So I picked up the girlfriend. She's ran into the bank. Um, I'm in the Timmy O's drive through um, Gonna get myself a smoothie, and she also wanted a smoothie too, so I guess I have to, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I don't mind their mixed berry smoothie with no yogurt, though. It has to be with no yogurt, because I don't know, there's something with the yogurt. It's fucking gross. So, uh, but yeah. And they have this new, like, apple menu, uh, like, you know, the apple baked things and the apple cider. Not quite my thing, but uh, yeah. So, talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys. Um, so it's uh, five to seven, Friday. Um, fucking nothing to do, just kind of cleaning up. I'm not really doing anything, just kind of cleaning up, uh, getting all f frustrated and shit, so driving to the fucking store to grab myself a 40 ounce of some cheap ass rat piss uh, to have a little bit of a drink. Uh, I'm not a big drinker, so I'm not going to go buy a six pack or a case or a flat or whatever. You know, I don't, I don't drink all that often, so. Uh, I'm just gonna grab myself a 40 ounce of like some rat piss, like Max Ice or Cold 40. I don't fucking know. Something that'll fucking get me sure as junk. Cause I don't drink a lot, and like a lot of people go, oh, you're just a, you're a wimp. Cause I can get drunk off like three beer. Well, when it's time to go to the bar, and y'all will spend 120, 150 dollars, including tip, to get wasted, and I'm, you know, maybe 50 bucks. He's a real loser. <laughs> I spent 50 bucks to get drunk, y'all had to spend like a hundred and something, so, you know, I'm just an easy drunk. Ain't no shame in admitting it. Yeah, you're a smart guy. I think there's a cop right behind me. Go right into the cop, you idiot. Let me go just ask and get pulled over, I tell you. But yeah, so that's pretty much it is. I'm just going to, going to the liquor store. I'm going to get myself a 40 ounce and then, yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do from there. Probably have a little bit of drink, do some cleaning, and then go to fucking bed. I just want this day to end. So, yeah, I guess I'll uh, talk to you guys in a bit. So, yeah, just pulling up, pulling up to the liquor store right now. Uh, what the hell do they call it? The liquor barn here in town. There's a few of them in town. Little liquor joints. Um, yeah, I'm going to grab myself a park the thing. Well, at least back home in Ontario, and Hamilton at least. Fucking the beer store there, because it's all government regulated. Fuck it. Don't ask me why, but they have a fucking drive-in beer store down there off of Barton Street. 
Yeah, it's fucking drive through. You drive fucking through like you would McDonald's and get a fucking cheeseburger. And they'll fucking sell you beer. I tell you, when I was younger, there's a drinking age in Ontario is 19, here it's 18. Uh, we used to just go through taxis because they never ID when you're going through a fucking cab. And they'd fucking sell to us like fucking idiots. But yeah, I'm gonna go. Chill. Hey there, people. Well, today is Sunday. Um, I think I'm gonna make this like a weekly vlog now or something. Maybe this, just this vlog will be like almost a week long. Uh, I'm cleaning. Um, right now I'm heading off to the Bottle Depot. Um, I know some places in Canada have it and some don't, but I'll explain it for you who don't. Um, the Bottle Depot pretty much is um, a business that will accept your cans, bottles, uh, anything used to drink out of a beverage. So juice boxes, uh, pop cans, pop bottles, uh, and then you get you get money back from them. Um, you get uh, 10 cents for pop cans uh, and bottles, and anything over one liter, you get a quarter. So a liter or more, you get a quarter. So it's actually uh, pretty good. I got about, <coughs> fuck me. I don't know, I'd say like third, I don't know, maybe close to $20 worth in bottles. So it's a, it's a good thing, you know, you're recycling and hey, you're getting fucking money for it. So I'm down for that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Um, on my way driving there, um, I cashed them in. And uh, yeah, pretty much go back home and keep cleaning. <laughs> that's about all I've been doing today, so. Uh, yeah, that's the, the planio. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Oh, hey there, people. Um, just came back from the, the uh, Bottle Depot and uh, got like $19.80, which is nice. Um, and then found some lottery tickets in the car. Found the gas station across the street and got another $9. I ain't fucking complaining, I say. Just like nine free dollars in the floor of my car. I'll take that any day of the week. Any day of the week, I'll take that. So as right now it is, uh, fuck me. Um, it's about one o'clock. Uh, girlfriend gets off at two. So I think I might just go home and sit around for a bit and then go pick her up or whatever. So I'll talk to you guys then. Hey there guys, so the time now is like quarter after three, I'm running a little late. Uh, gotta go pick up my girlfriend from work. Um, she called me and was like, yo, where's the are you? And I was on Skype with uh, my buddy Dave, uh, who's also on uh, YouTube. Um, I'll leave his link down below um, with his webpage. Yeah, check out his videos, you know, he makes pretty interesting videos. He hasn't uploaded in a couple weeks, but yeah. Hopefully you start well again. But uh, yeah, so I gotta go pick up the girlfriend um, for dinner tonight. Uh, I'm probably gonna make like chicken or something, like chicken legs. Um, just, uh, got like this pack of seasoning or something. You add water and some shit and you boil it. And it's like Swiss chalet sauce. It's like the Swiss chalet chicken dipping sauce. So fucking right. So I'm always down for that considering. We don't have a Swiss Chalet where I live. Uh, you gotta drive to Calgary or Lethbridge um, if you want some uh, Swiss Chalet, so that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, have some chicken tonight. Uh, probably finish up the cleaning because uh, tomorrow I gotta work again and uh, I'm not gonna want to clean through the week, so I'm gonna finish it up tonight. I have a clean apartment. Uh, and then do it all again next weekend, you know? It's the way life is. <laughs> Never catch a fucking break, I tell you. So, um, yeah, that's about it right now. Um, so grab her and, uh, uh, as you can see, I uh, already picked up the girlfriend. Oh, here she comes. I made her go to McDonald's and get me some food. So, yeah. Looks like I'm having double quarter pounder time, motherfuckers. Talk to you then. I've done work Monday, thank fuck. Uh, I've been really slacking on this log. I'm really gonna have to do a lot better. Uh, this one, you guys are probably gonna be like, yo, what the fuck would you even post this for? And I'll be like, whatever, fuck you. But yeah, as you can see, my nose is stuffed with some tissue. Uh, 
I was in the shower at work and uh, after working and uh, it just started bleeding like a fucking son of a whore. So, yeah. So I gotta pick up the girlfriend at five. The time now is 10 to four. So a little over an hour I gotta go pick her up. So, oh, maybe I'll do a little bit more filming then. All right.